It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to be comparing data sets as we talk about the mean or average per and the MAD, which represents variation, also referred to as mean absolute deviation. Here's our question today. A farmer sprayed two rows of flowering plants, row one and row two, each with a different type of fertilizer. Each row received the same amount of sunlight and water. After several weeks, the farmer selected every third plant in each row and counted the number of flowers on those plants. The farmer calculated the mean and the mean absolute deviation of the number of flowers per plant and the lesser amount of variation in the number of flowers per plant. Based on the results, the farmer determined that row two had the greater number of flowers per plant and the lesser amount of variation in the number of flowers per plant. Which of the following could have been the farmer's results? So we have four answer choices to pick from here, comparing row one and row two and a proposed mean and mean absolute deviation. So using the information provided, we need to select the answer. Here's where you pause the video, you do your best work, and then come back and hit play to see mine. Good luck. Welcome back. We are comparing flowering plants that a farmer had in rows one and row two. We were told that each row received the same amount of sunlight and water. So that means we have a fair representation that both rows were treated fairly. The second bullet tells us that after several weeks that the farmer selected every third plant in each row and counted the number of flowers on those plants. So that means that there was a fair and random sampling of the plants that the farmer looked at. Now we know the farmer then took those, that data, he calculated the mean and the mean absolute deviation. When we talk about the mean, we're talking about the number of flowers per plant on average. And only in row two, we're told that they have a greater number of flowers per plant, which represents the mean. And then the lesser amount of variation. So that means as far as the number of flowers being closer to the mean, that row two had the smaller amount of variation. So that is our MAD. So that means that there was all the average flowers were closer to the average in row two, where row two, row one had more variation, meaning that the number of flowers were further away from the average. All right, so when we look at this, we're looking at row two values and we wanna have the greater mean, so greater than row one, and row two, had the lesser amount of variation or MAD, mean absolute deviation. So when we consider, let's look at the mean first. We're gonna look at the mean for each one of our answer choices and row two needs to have the greater mean value. So row two here is greater than row one, row two greater than row one, row two less of an average. So we're gonna eliminate answer choice C and row two here is also has a average that's less. So we can eliminate choices C and D just based on the fact that row two has to have a greater mean or average per plant. Let's eliminate that. And now we're gonna talk about mean absolute deviation or MAD. Row two had less variation. So that just means that the average number per plant was closer to the average than in row one. So we want a smaller amount for mean absolute deviation. So 2.2 .2 is greater than 0.39 or 39 hundredths. So we're gonna eliminate choice A. So we can see that our answer choice is B. The mean is greater and the mean absolute deviation is less. So there you have it. That is how you compare data sets using mean or average and MAD for variation, which represents mean absolute deviation. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. I hope you have a great day and that you come back soon.